there is Prince William. I was going to ask you a question, actually, about Lee Halfpenny. Not so much about Andy Powell, because he's 27, and I suppose he's been around the block a few times, even though this may be his first game. How much for Lee Halfpenny today? as cap number, what was the number, 1,060. How much is today about his mind? Uh, a lot, but that's where the coaches come in and that's where the experienced players in the squad kind of settle him down. He will be excited. He will want to get that ball in his hands very quickly and he won't, won't, won't want to miss any tackles. What would be foremost on his mind, he won't want to let anybody down and he'd be worried about his teammates more than he will himself. Composure. He just needs to keep his composure and, and do what he does week in, week out. Stephen Jones wears number 10. James Hook is on the bench. St Gavin Henson is out for the spring box. Not taking this kick off because that's Conrad Janches, but it'll be very interesting to see how Ruan Pina, the utility back for South Africa. Pause, engage. New names go on to the Welsh honour board. Andy Powell there you go. and Lee Halfpenny. And they do again. the target, straight down to Dupria. Here's John de Villiers. And this time, it's Wales who get the penalty as South Africa come off their feet. Here we are, Berger is first there. Well, you see, he's not on his feet, he's never going to be on his feet. Jones again, Shanklin inside to Lee Halfpenny, the new cap, just... 19 years old, Halfpenny. That's his first touch, and what an impact. Wales have to play this quickly, they do. Lee Halfpenny, suddenly he's involved in most things. Here's somebody who's been involved from the outset, Ryan Powell. No knock on, it went back from a South African hand. Now, this is very interesting. Kicking duties, because of the injury to Stephen Jones, have gone to the new cap, 19-year-old Lee Halfpenny. So not only... As he had his first touch, his first run, his first little offload, his first taste, here he is, with his first penalty kick at goal. Seems very cool about life on the international rugby field as Lee Halfpenny. He won't be 20 until December, and he's a Welsh point scorer. Well, that moment will stay with him as long as he lives. First, felt it interesting that they, you know, turned to him at that age and a pressure kick. Scott Berger. Oh, they couldn't quite get the offload, but it's Macfield, the link man. Here's Ruan Pina takes on Roberts. Pina has the strength oh. and the guile to go there, but he lost the ball, or did he? Time on. But again, you can see South Africa making holes here. Doesn't you? Oh, yeah, well, quite clear. Couldn't see it from our angle because... Lee Halfpenny continues with the kicking duties for Wales. This one, well, it's, what, 40... 8 metres plus the angle equals 56 metres. You got out of that well. <laughs> enough. Scrum, solid enough. Powell feeds, Cooper feeds, Stephen Jones, Roberts, Lee Halfpenny comes in off his wing. He's been driven up under his armpit. Fouda Dupria took it quickly, still on for South Africa. Oh, here we it's go. that Lee Halfpenny comes away. Shanklin! Now then, chased down by Pierre Spies, puts the kick in. Still Wales. Have the advantage, do they? That's Lee Halfpenny involved, as he was at the start of the move. South Africa scrambled it back. Shanklin didn't quite... Ha just steps away from John Smith. Shane Williams to Halfpenny, the wings in unison. Halfpenny takes it into the ruck. He looks a natural out there, Brian. It's a confident debut, no doubt. Pack this side now. There are lots of red shirts out here. Lee Byrne, beautiful angle. Halfpenny outside him. 
Now then, the pace of Halfpenny can't get the ball away. Two knock-ons by Wales. Halfpenny, it slipped forward out of his grasp and then it went forward from Shane Williams. Wales' best attack of the second half. Well, another one, just as I said, they need to convert the half chances. This happens. Staying on. Greenfield keeps it in field. Ryan Kankowski with the catch. Kankowski against half penny. Good tackle by the teenager. Knock on by Kankowski. And it's all going Wales' well way at the moment. But as Brian said, they need more than penalties now. On as hooker will come Brian Mujati, who was also raised in Bulawayo in Zimbabwe. And uh, went to the same school as Tendai Tawarira. So. Old schoolmates in the South African front row. Dwayne Peel. They have to get it away from here, Wales, because they have an advantage over this side. Lee Byrne. Jamie Roberts. Halfpenny. That was a good tackle on him by the end. I think it was John de Villiers. By Geffen Jenkins. South Africa still in possession. Pina with a drop goal attempt. Might still be dangerous. Halfpenny tracks back. Byrne inside him. Byrne gets the ball. Downfield to Janches. Their Achilles heel. The line out has not gone well. And it let them down right at the end. And South Africa Thanks, stay in the lead and they steal the game. Wales couldn't do it. It was a massive comeback in the second half by Wales after they gifted South Africa a second try. But the tourists have come here to the Millennium Stadium and they have won. Wales 15. South Africa, 20.